Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to install WordPress on a VPS and for this we are going to use DigitalOcean for hosting and Cloud Panel as our control panel. It's really an amazing panel and it's unbelievable how it's really free. It's made with high performing WordPress websites in mind. Actually, you can also install other type of websites on it. I will show you and you will see how really good this control panel is. So the first thing you have to do is sign up for DigitalOcean and I would really appreciate if you use my link from the description or pinned comment to sign up for DigitalOcean. You don't have to pay anything extra and usually DigitalOcean always have some offers going on. So when you uh, click that link and arrive on the sign up page, you will see that you are getting some free credits depending on the offer going on. Usually it is like 100, 150 sometimes uh, depends on the promotional offer going on. And you can use that to try DigitalOcean before becoming a paying customer. So it's signing up is very easy. You just have to click on the link. You will see this. I would suggest you use the sign up with email option, uh, fill your details, and you will also have to uh, add some payment method to your VPS account. Usually that is a rule by most VPS providers to prevent spam. So just do that. It's a simple process. I will sign into my account and directly show you the important steps. I have logged into my account and from here I have to create a new project or if you have a project already. So for this tutorial example, I will start this project. Uh, it doesn't matter what you enter here. This is just for your reference purpose. So I will just create this project. And now from here, you will see this create option. Click here, then select droplets. Now you have to select a location for your droplet. Pick the location which is closest to your audience so they will have a very fast website experience. I will pick Singapore here and depending on some of the locations the price may vary a little bit like $1 extra for some location or $1 less for some location but um, it's rare but uh, you can check that. Now from here go to marketplace uh, images oh, sorry here marketplace and search for cloud panel. Select this option and now we have to select the size of our droplet. Droplet is basically our VPS server. In droplet type you have to select the shared CPU. This dedicated CPU will be very expensive and uh, it is not required for a basic website. Now from your CPU options you can select the regular premium or premium AMD. Uh, the price will be a little different. I will show you the difference. So the regular starts at actually $6 here and this premium Intel uh, starts at 8 and premium AMD starts at 7. So yes, with premium you will have a slight performance advantage but it will not be a big difference. So depending on the traffic you are expecting on your website, you can pick the correct CPU option. For this tutorial, I will go with the regular and uh, this is the only option I have. So and remember that you must select at least 1 GB of RAM. Actually Cloud Panel recommends 2 GB but since it is a uh, DigitalOcean is allowing us to select this so I will select this for demo tutorial okay. And from here uh, select the password option right now if you do not know how the SSH key works you can also configure it later. Now type a password and make sure that you save it in a very secure place because you cannot recover this password. If you lose it, then you will have to destroy your droplet and start all over again. I have created a really long and strong password. And in advanced option, I would suggest you to enable this IPv6, it's free. And here in finalize details, you can uh, put a host name that is easily recognizable by you. So you can understand which is this droplet. If you have multiple droplets, then uh, it makes the identifying the correct droplet easier. Now click on create droplet and you will see the final price here with uh, this is without taxes. So when you get the bill, you, the taxes will be included extra. Click on create droplet. Okay, so the installation process is complete and it takes about 2-3 minutes and now we have to log in to the cloud panel interface and it is very important that you do it very quickly because sometimes some bots may try to um, check if uh, try to create an account. 
so you have to do it quickly okay it's a very simple process all you have to do is copy your IP you will see a warning like this continue so I was getting error for some reason and the way to fix it is very simply just adding HTTPS in, instead of HTTP then you will see this SSL warning click on proceed and now you can access the cloud panel uh, user interface from here we have to create our account for the first time after filling your details and make sure to note down this username and password because with VPS you will not get the account details on your email ID because most of the VPS will block outgoing emails so make sure you note down this and uh, that way you can re uh, log into the account later click on create user okay now our account has been created let's log in and that's it that's how simple it is to install cloud panel and now let's install wordpress and that's even simple click on add site click on create a wordpress website now put your domain name here domain name is basically your word, uh, website name like youtube.com distillation.com etc so if you already don't have a domain name then you will have to register you can register it from GoDaddy, Namecheap or any other domain registrar you would like. You can find the links in the description if you need uh, help with that. I also have tutorials for detailed tutorials on DNS of GoDaddy, Namecheap uh, and some other domain registrars. So I'll put my domain name here. And this is the domain that I'm going to use for uh, this demo. So I will paste it here and I will not add any www dot or anything else just the domain name and make sure that there is no extra space or anything and you can put your site title here you can also edit this later from the wordpress dashboard the site title and username password things so do not worry too much about it right now and I would recommend you to change this admin username which will be our admin username for the wordpress dashboard you can make it your name or something your screen name or something else it's a good practice to not use the admin username and then put a admin email id it will be used with your wordpress so uh, put an email id which is currently in working condition like you can see by default it uh, puts an email with your dom custom domain which is not active yet um, so you can do that then click on create so just like that our wordpress website has been created and cloud panel very neatly gives you all the username password at a place where you can just uh, copy all the details and save okay so now let's log into our wordpress website and before doing that we will have to um, add the domain name into distillation and also update the name servers so again go back to the distillation dashboard and from here here you will see your droplet this is the droplet we created click on this three dots here click on add a domain and okay so you will see an option like this okay now enter the domain then select the droplet uh, it should be the cloud panel droplet click on add domain you can see DigitalOcean has uh, added it this domain to the droplet and also created uh, these DNS records so I would suggest you to add a few more go to CNAME tab and here type www dot and uh, put at the rate and click on create record now copy this this is the name server of DigitalOcean so we are using DigitalOcean for the DNS records now go back to GoDaddy or your domain registrar from where you can update the name servers I will directly show you this step if you want to learn how to do it for GoDaddy or Namecheap in detail then you can find my other videos uh, in this video I'm just going to show you directly how to do it and it's a very easy process you can if you are using something else some other registrar then you can google how to do it for that registrar or contact their support for GoDaddy go to your DNS management and from here update so we will need to update three records just uh, copy paste them and then replace ns2 ns3 okay s one dot and s2 and s3 click on save okay maybe there is an extra dot here uh, remove that and click on save now confirm this 
And another thing to note is if you're using your GoDaddy or your domain with something else, then make sure that you have a backup of your DNS records before changing your name servers because then uh, your previous website, if it was connected to some, your domain was connected to something else, then that will not work. So we have created this and uh, it will take some time before the name server gets updated. It's still showing the old name server. So I will refresh this page. Now it is showing the new one, but still it will take some time for a few minutes, 20 minutes about to reflect the changes uh, across the globe. For that, you can go to my website, smarthelpguides.com. I am providing this free tool. Click on this check DNS records option here. And now paste the domain name. Okay, so the domain name was how to shop. Uh, select NS, click on find here, and you can see all these uh, DNS servers are showing still showing the old record. So it will take some time before the name server gets updated. Another thing you can check is select A, click on find, and you can see the IP address uh, is not the one of the latest cloud panel. This is the IP address it should show. So for that, we have to wait and then only we can continue the next step. So till that, I will show you some other features of Cloud Panel Dashboard. Let's go back to site and let's, and let's learn how you can add another one. So again, it's very simple. You can go to sites from here and go to add site and you can create another WordPress site or PHP site or uh, any type of website you want static HTML and all these functions are also available So with a PHP website, we can basically create any other type of site the process is very simple Again, you have to click on create a WordPress website fill your domain name and then uh, create your account WordPress account and then go to DigitalOcean and update the domain there and change the name servers Then after that, uh, I will show you the admin area here so this is the uh, cloud panel admin area here you can also add more user if you want you can have multiple users with uh, cloud panel and you can also restrict their access to only few sites so here you will see this option is available so if i had multiple websites so i will see an option that i can so i can tick only the sites for which i want to give them access and then uh, they will have access restricted access okay so it's that simple and also you can uh, suspend or you can also select what role you want to give user site manager uh, and depending on that they will have uh, certain privileges then you can also see the all the events that's happening and you can see this was login and this was the site created event and if you click on this view option you can see the details including the ip and everything so i will not show you that and here you can see all the instances running on your server and if something is not working you can uh, directly reboot the server uh, but that will not will be not required and you should do that only in extreme cases and from here you can also restart uh, individual modules from here you also have some advanced settings but i would not uh, recommend you to really mess with the settings now you can go to backup here. You can also select a remote backup option. So if you have a cloud storage option or something like that, then you can select that and it will directly backup to that. And in security settings, you have basic firewall rules. You can create your rules or modify them or delete them. Now here, if you go to this, uh, your profile drop down and click on settings, they also have a security second factor authentication. So you can use the authenticator app and enable this authentication option and then uh, use the google authenticator app or some other authenticator app and it will provide additional security in the dashboard you can see your vps stats there's a cpu one one gb memory and how much memory is being consumed so with this data you can decide if you need to upgrade your server or if you purchased a big server then you can decide if you do not need it and you can downgrade that and another optional setting i would like to show you is first you have to go to your project and to find the droplet uh, select your droplet here and you will see the ipv6 address also so we have created the dns record for the ipv4 already 
but let's also create one for the ipv6 click on copy ipv6 address go back to the project from here you will see the domain uh, click on edit you can also just select this now go to this uh, four times a option so this for ipv6 in host name you have to enter at the rate and uh, here you have to put your cloud uh, okay so it will automatically select the correct ipv6 address and this is a good option now click on create record okay so now we have a record for ipv4 as well as ipv6 so this is a completely optional step but since we selected ipv6 address also and it's completely free so it's good that we create a dns record for that otherwise it will not be utilized okay so the name server updating process is taking some time um, it's been only a few minutes and i think it will still take like 15 20 minutes more um, i have checked and still showing the old ip all of the name servers so i will show you the next steps go back to the cloud panel dashboard here go to manage and from here you can also access your file manager your security settings and uh, ssl tls this is the important thing because right now we don't have a let's encrypt or any other uh, SSL certificate that is required for the HTTPS. Otherwise, you will see a warning like this. Right now, you can see there is only a self-signed certificate and uh, we can access the website right now. I have done some settings to show you quickly, but only after this records are showing that most of these uh, servers start showing that your name server has been updated and your uh, server ip is also showing correct only then you can apply for the ssl certificate before that the verification will fail and you will not be able to get the ssl certificate but it is very easy to do just click here and uh, select this option new let's encrypt certificate and it's completely free so let's access our WordPress website and see if we can log in. Click on continue. And because we don't have a SSL certificate, so we will see this warning. Proceed. And you can see this is the WordPress website we have created. Let's log in. For logging into WordPress admin area, you just have to uh, always add WP admin after your domain name and click on login here and you can see uh, we can also access our wordpress dashboard and our wordpress is also installed so that's it for this tutorial i hope you found it useful please leave your feedback and if you have any questions in the comments and uh, after this all you have to do is just uh, issue the ssl certificate and this warning will be fixed then you can uh, do whatever you want with your wordpress website thank you for watching this video i will see you next